Hi, my name is Judy, and this is my sister, Nancy. And we're going to show you how to do a simple project of a photo transfer onto a coaster out of a, that's a tile. And um, we started out with this picture of Nancy and I when we were little. And then the next step was I took it to um, Staples and had them do a mirror image of it and uh, the, in a size of 4x4. Four four. Now, the reason you want the mirror image is because if you have any writing on your picture, you will need that that way so that once you transfer it, it will come out correctly when you're finished. So the first thing you're going to do, you have the Mod Podge transfer photo. photo transfer product. And you take that and you put that onto your tile. Paint that on there. And you want to make sure that your tile is completely covered because if you do not have the solution on there, then you have a gap in your picture and it will not stay on to the, to the tile. So you apply your paper onto the tile and then you can use a credit card or gift card and smooth that out onto the, um, the tile and make sure it's completely adhered to it. Then you might want to just press down to make sure that all the corners are glued. Then you're going to set that aside. For how long? Or until it dries, which will take anywhere between 20 minutes and an hour, depending on how much solution that you put onto the tile. Then you'll so, clean the credit card. Well, then you could clean the credit card, yes. And then um, I have... A tile that I put on earlier so that it would be all ready to show you the next step, which is you take a, a terry cloth and you dip it into cold water. Judy, that's the paper towel. Huh? I think that's the towel you just put it on. That's not. Okay. Okay, so you want this to be wet. So I'm going to set this onto a towel because normally you would be by the sink when you do this, but since I'm doing it here, and you want to completely wet that tile down. And as you do that, and you get it all wet, you'll see your picture underneath it. And what you're doing is taking off the backing of that paper. So you take the terry cloth, and you rub that uh, backing off. So you just keep going until you get that off of there. And as you can see, it's starting to come off now. And you want that to be wet. And you do want to use cold water because warm water um, penetrates it too much and it will take off your photo. Well, look at the cute girl that's coming out. Yeah. That's me. That's my sister. <laughs> so you continue to rub that. And if you... Um, do need to wet the cloth again. You don't. You can wring it out a little bit because you don't need it quite as wet. It's almost like magic. Okay. So in doing this, you have to be very careful because um, if you rub too hard, you may rub off a portion of your pitcher. And there you go. Now I have uh, gone to the next stage of this to show you the finished product. And there, that is what it looks like when you're completely done. After you have this paper off and it completely dries again, you will take a, um, a clear lacquer and take it outside and spray that with the lacquer. You could put two light coats on it. Any more than that, it starts to get a little thick onto your coaster. So then once you have that done and it dries, you should wait um, 48 hours before you use it as a coaster. And also I'd like to mention that if you do get this ceramic tile wet, don't sit it on top of anything because it will, the moisture stays in the tile and you, whatever you set it on is going to 
absorb that moisture. So that is your photo um, tile. And I'm going to turn it over now, to you. Now, what do you do at the back? Oh, I'm so sorry. Nancy, you're just so glad you're here with me. <laughs> On the back of the tile, I have chose to have a piece of um, self-stick felt. And you peel that off and put it right onto the back of your tile. And then that way it protects it so that you can set it on the table. Can I do those in a magnet? Why, well, yes, you can. If you'd like to have the smaller tiles, then you can use those to do the same procedure to make a magnet. And then just put the glue on magnets on the back and you'll see whatever. Whenever you go in the refrigerator, you'll be seeing that. Okay. Okay. So I'll turn this over to you, Nancy. Okay. All right. I am Jill's, the librarian's aunt. And let me give you a little background here. I don't do videos. Jill called me and said, Aunt Nancy, can you show a craft for me? And I said, no, I'm, I'm really busy. I can't do that. And two weeks ago, she called me and said, you're scheduled for Friday. So there you go. It's going to air next Thursday. So that's why you're getting this craft. If it's amateur, it's amateur. It wasn't my choice. I'm doing the best I can. What I'm going to show you how to do is how to make a coaster using just plain napkins. All right. This nap, this is a coaster that I made. The same napkin, I just embellished it by taking off different parts of the napkin. So we have the base mat napkin, and then I changed and I added a bird. So there's a blue bird, a yellow bird, and this one I added an extra bird's nest too. So you get a set of coasters that are the same, but different. I thought that was a little tricky. So they're great for gifts. They're very economical gift. You can give them to anybody that you want. Give them to people you like, give them to people you don't like. It doesn't matter because they're easy and fun to do. This again is the same tile that Judy used for her um, photo transfer, but this is a much easier procedure. Of course, this two different looks. This I prefer, but this is one I choice I get to do. All right. There are three, basically three steps. And the materials that you need for this coaster are the Mod Podge mat and then the spray, as Judy said, a couple of uh, foam brushes. And I used um, backers like phone tabs. phone tabs for the back of it so it doesn't scratch the table. So what you want to do with your very first tile is you just, just like Judy did, but it's a little bit different. You stir your Mod Podge up, which I've already done. Then you just coat your tile. Put, be very generous with your coating. I guess I should tell you at this point, I should have earlier, you cut your piece of paper, your napkin, a little bit larger than the tile, maybe a half of an inch altogether larger than the tile. So that when you lay your tile on, you lay your paper on the tile, it will overlap just a wee bit. All right. Then after you've put that on and smoothed it out a bit, you just, you'll coat it again with the medium. I think I told you you can buy the medium at any hardware, any hardware store, any craft store. Uh, you might, if luck, you might even get it at the dollar store. Of course, if you're going to Joann's or Michael's, be sure to use your coupons. We're not endorsing Joann's or Michael's, but everybody goes there. All right. So what you're going to do is after you've put that on your piece of ceramic, you just let that dry for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I will say at this point, and I've already done that, but you, there's a, just, a, just a huge variety of napkins in, you can use. You can use summer, you can use fall, you can use holidays like the 4th of July. Napkins are just available anywhere. So once that has dried, we're gonna pretend like it's been 20 minutes. Here's the tile with the extra paper. So what I'm gonna do at this point is cut off, just cut that paper off. You just take your scissors, go around, cut off all four sides. It'd be silly to cut Fine off three job. sides, wouldn't Fine I? Job. Fine job. That's because she's my sister. You cut off all four sides. 
then it fits perfectly on your tile. So at this point, you can either use sandpaper or you can use a file, but you want to file all the edges straight down to get off any extra paper that might overlap. So you're gonna file that down. And then, see, little mess up there. You have to take it all off. Otherwise, it won't be as pretty as you want it to be. And if you're gonna give this to somebody, you want it perfect. All right, then you file that down. All right, so all four edges are filed down. So what you'll do at this point, all right, so you have, at, you have one coat of Mod Podge. You have put your napkin on top. Now it's time to put and let it dry. So now it's time to put your second coat on. All right, so you just coat the entire coaster up and down. It's a very simple, your kids can do this project. They can make um, pictures for their grandparents. I'll show you a little bit easier way to make pictures if you're doing it for children. All right, and that's all you're gonna do is put it around all four sides. On the top, cover your sides and put that aside to let that dry. All right, okay, it's dry. This is the, this is the last project the last section of the project. This is complete, completely dry. And what I did, like Judy said, I went outside and I sprayed the varnish on it, two light coats after it's completely dry, with um, put a light coat on, let that dry, put another coat on, let that dry. Now what I did for the back, you can do several different things. I used on this particular one, the stick on felt tabs so that on the back, I just have four stick-on tabs. If you want to look a little more finished, this has felt on the back. These are just felt, pieces of felt squares cut to the size and glued. They're nice if you stack them all together, tie them with a little ribbon, give them to a friend. There you go. Now I do have, I told you there was another way to do, um, if your kids want to do pictures, this is an easier way than the way Judy did it. With hers is a transfer Mod Podge. This is a normal Mod Podge. And this is um, done exactly the same way as you do the napkins. Then you'll come out this. Of course, you will not have a picture of my grandchildren, but you might have your own grandchildren that you want to show everybody. And then lastly, if you go to the dollar store, you can buy the tile at the dollar store that already has a um, backing of cork on it. Now the dollar store um, tiles have prints on them. So if you're doing this transfer, you can't use this trip, this particular procedure. But if you're just adding a picture to the top, like we did the um, coasters, it'll work that way. So that's anything you have to say, Judy? Uh, no, I think you did a fine job. Thank you so much for watching the Harrison Library videos. Bye.